Okay, chef and sous chefs, you know you eat with your eyes first. You get excited before you even eat something <laughs> if it looks good, don't you? So, chef's gonna show us how to make it look good on the plate. All right, our chicken came out. Uh, yeah. The easy way to kind of do is just grab it by the string there. Get this over for you. Okay, and then we're just gonna simply uh, cut off our butcher st string here. Now this is, you know, this is again is a mommy or daddy thing to do. What we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna take our polenta mix over here. Should be nice, uh, good texture to it. Really just mostly added some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, and... Parmesan cheese and a little bit of pepper. Okay. Okay, look how pretty he's, he's putting that there for a special reason. Okay. We're just gonna go right in the center there. We're gonna take a few of our honey glazed carrots just on the back side. Look at those colors. Want to get in some of the honey and the shallots no, also. Especially with our sous chef. Yeah, All right. he's a big honey fan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and slice up our chicken. Um, this is pretty big chicken breast, so I don't think we'll not quite use the whole thing. So what I'd like to do is kind of just cut the first piece off because there's not going to be a lot in there. Look how Chef's cutting that. Again, taking very special care not to cut himself. He's kind of sawing it. And the surprise is what's inside. Because you wouldn't expect to see spinach inside of your chicken, would you? No. So you've got green and yellow and orange and white. Kind of makes you just want to eat it because it's so pretty. <gasps> you know what? This is beautiful. I think any child and or adult <laughs> would want to eat this. And now it is time to do the taste testing. Okay, chef, all of the ingredients are prepared and ready for our summer salad. Right. So what next? We got our potatoes just right out of the oven. You can see how nice golden brown they are. Um, you can either choose to let them cool down to room temperature or they're not going to hurt anything in there. Um, it might kind of actually um, make the dressing stand out just a little bit more if there's a little heating element to it. And so. So, you know, sometimes people like to have hot and cold in their mouth. And they do. It's interesting. It's kind of one of those texture things. A that, texture thing. Uh, we're going to do a texture thing. So, okay. we're going to go ahead and throw the potatoes in there. Uh huh. Okay. We're just going to take our dressing and we mm, might as well just pull help, that whole thing in there. Yep. Let's do a cup of more just like that. Perfect. All right. Now we'll take that spoon there. We're just going to kind of mix this salad up. So the dressing sort of brings all the flavors together. Yeah. Right? You know, when you do dressing at home on your salad. Okay. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous salad. The thing with uh, salad, when you do salads, all the, obviously all the heavier ingredients are going to kind of sink to the bottom, so um, I kind of like to let them be that way because then all the salad mix will kind of go ah. on top and then we'll kind of okay. dictate how much goes on there. So literally, if you had potatoes that you had roasted the night before, you, everything is really cooked, ready to go. This is about right. putting it together and whipping up a, a vinaigrette. Right. Which could take 10 minutes. Right, it is yeah. not a whole lot. It can be a good variety of, you know, different oils or um, mm -hmm. different vinegars, whatever kind of. Be adventuresome. You can use infused oils and vinegars. Right, and there's all kinds of good yeah. products out there. And all the herbs, so you could, you could help mom add some more herbs to that, okay. So we're done there. Uh, we're going to take our shrimp. Do you like shrimp? Yeah. Uh, we're just going to kind of, we could do all kinds of different designs with them. We can oh, just lay them on there. Doing. Um, What's he doing? He's making a design. You know he cooks a lot of seafood at the Houston <laughs> Grill, and so he knows um, he's just an artist with food. I kind of like to just set them up. Oh, look kinda, how fun that is. Just like that, right in the middle, um, or however. You would like to put them on there. Okay, chef. So we eat with our eyes first, and we you have just seen chef plate, which you helped to do. And now we're going to taste it because in the end, that's what it's about, how it tastes.